Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded rectangle uh, EFDB fully confined uh, in a right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this uh, vertical segment AE is 12 units whereas uh, this uh, horizontal segment uh, CD is uh, 36 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle EFDB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green shaded rectangle EFDB. I'm going to label uh, its uh, side EF uh, as uh, X uh, and this uh, FD length uh, as Y. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded uh, rectangle, and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length times the width of the rectangle. And in our case, uh, the dimensions of this uh, blue rectangle are X and Y. So therefore, uh, the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle is going to be X uh, times uh, Y. And now our task is to find the value of uh, X times uh, Y. And furthermore, uh, bear in mind that this angle has got to be 90 degrees and likewise this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well since we are dealing with this uh, green shaded rectangle. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Now let's assume that this angle is uh, alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well since uh, these two angles are uh, corresponding, so therefore they are congruent. Likewise, uh, if I call this angle beta, then this angle has got to be beta as well since they are our corresponding angles as well and they are congruent. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, this right triangle uh, AEF and this uh, other right triangle uh, CDF are our uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since uh, these two triangles are similar, so therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of these uh, two side lengths uh, EF uh, and EA is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, CD and FD. And we can see our this uh, EF uh, length uh, is X. So I'm going to replace that one with X uh, over here. And our uh, EA segment length uh, is uh, 12. So I'm going to replace this EA with uh, 12 over here. And likewise, our side length uh, CD is being uh, represented with uh, 36 units. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 36. And finally, FD side length uh, is Y. So I'm going to replace that one with Y over here. So therefore, I can write uh, X uh, divided by 12 equal to 36 uh, divided by Y. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore we are going to have uh, x uh, times y equals to 12 times 36. And if we multiply 12 times 36, that is going to give us uh, 432. So therefore our x times uh, y value turns out to be 432. So thus our x times y value turns out to be 432. And furthermore, let's make an observation. We can see that our green shaded rectangle area is uh, x times y and our x times y value is 432. So therefore we conclude that our uh, green shaded rectangle area is going to be 432 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle turns out to be 432 square units. In other words, the area of this uh, green shaded uh, rectangle is going to be 
432 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye